subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for your daily dose of sugar. Hey guys, this is a really special video as there's a surprise for you at the end. So do watch the video to know about the surprise. Hey guys, my name is Frankie and today I'm going to demonstrate this beautiful bridal makeup look. To know how I achieve this look, keep on watching. I'm going to start prepping my skin by using the Aquaholic Hydrating Stick, applying it all over my face. For that glow from within look, I'm applying Bling Heater Illuminating Moisturizer in Peach Popping and blending all over my face. And lastly, I'm filling my pores on the cheeks using Base of Glory Pore Minimizing Primer. To prep my lips, I'm applying Seal the Show Lip Primer to lock the moisture. Next, I'm going to fill in my brows using Arc Arrival 3-in-1 Brow Shaper in Top Tom. I'm working in the direction of my brow hair using short light strokes and cleaning off the excess using concealer for a more sharper look. I'm prepping my eyelids with concealer to create an even canvas. I'm taking the shade Apricot and running it back and forth into my crease to create a transition shade. Use round blending motion to get rid of any harsh lines. Next, I'm taking the shade Cinnamon Brown and placing it on my outer V, blending it into the crease color. And finally, I'm putting the shade Mauve Top on the outer lid. Now, I'm cutting my crease using a concealer. Start carving a line just below your crease until the middle of the lid and fill it in. Apply the shade Champagne Gold on the inner lid and Lilac Rose in the middle of the lid. Make sure that the outer edge is blended well with the lid colors. Apply the shade Champagne Gold on your brow bone for a lifted look. Now I'm creating a winged liner using Wingman Waterproof Micro Liner and applying a coat of Lash of Titans Volumizing Mascara. To start my base makeup, I am applying Ace of Face Foundation Stick in shade Latte. Now I am blending the foundation outwards using a foundation brush. To bring some structure to my face, I am dabbing my brush in the contour stick in the shade Font first and applying it over the hollows of my cheeks, edges of my forehead and jawline. Here I'm bringing some color back into my cheeks by applying blush stick in Coral Climax right above where I place the contour and blending it outwards. Now I'm concealing and highlighting my under eyes, sides of my nose, sides of my mouth using the Magic Wand Waterproof Concealer and blending it outwards using a dabbing motion. To set my base, I'm using Powder Play Translucent Compact and dabbing it gently under my eyes. To set the rest of my T-zone and neck, I'm dusting the powder using a fluffy brush leaving the cheeks untouched. Now I'm using the Contour Day Force Face Palette in Subtle Summit to set my blush by lightly dusting it outwards and setting the contour using the bronzer from the same palette. Using the highlighter, I am highlighting the high points of my face like over my cheekbones, above my brow, tip of my chin, tip and bridge of my nose and adding the bronzer on the sides of my nose to achieve some definition. For that extra glow and long-lasting makeup, I am spritzing my face with Grand Finale Dewy Setting Mist. Now that my base makeup is done, I am moving on to complete my eye makeup by applying the shade Cinnamon Brown on my lower lash line and blending outwards. Also highlighting the inner corner of my eyes using the shade Champagne Gold. For my lipstick, I am going to apply the Matte as Hell Crayon lipsticks in the shade Viola and Poison Ivy. First, I am applying the shade Poison Ivy with a lip brush all over my lips to diffuse the color. Then, I am applying the shade Viola on the center of my lips for an ombre and plump effect. To complete this look, I am adding a pair of false lashes. And since a bride is always adorned with jewelry, I am also adding some jewelry pieces to this look. And this is the final look. Look. I hope you liked this video and the look. If you did, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you all the next time. Bye. Well, that's it for today. So guys, here's the time for the surprise. All you have to do is keep showering us with all your love by liking, subscribing, sharing and commenting on our channel. And we will pick a lucky winner every single week as the fan and you will be getting some exciting sugar products. So keep the comments and likes coming. Good luck!